You had me until the Reddit post because I don't go on Reddit. <laughs> oh, well, I, I go on r slash sneakers for big drops because sometimes I've found useful info on there. Oh, I know. And you do that and then you send it to me <laughs> and then I'm <laughs> so late on it. Yeah. And then you're late to the game. So you don't even have an <laughs> So it doesn't even matter. <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna record right now. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Bjorn, just unprofessional shit. Just starting right the recording. Mouthful of protein bar. Mm -hmm. We were just discussing protein bar bars off the air, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we decided to take that discussion on air. He just mm -hmm. had the the Cliff Bar brand protein bar, and I was I was suggesting RX Bar, Kind protein bars. Those are pretty good. Mm -hmm. And then Epic. Epic makes it. They make these like little meat bars, but then they also have some like regular protein oh, bars. I've had the and they're meat regular, bars. They're regular ones. Like they're similar to the RX bar, and they're pretty good. These are the ones. This mm -hmm. is not my flavor zone though, because they do a peanut Flavor's butter, that? and they do it's peanut butter chocolate. They also do a um just chocolate and uh, mint. Yeah, they and it I, tastes like a like a um girl scout cookie basically but but with that like weird mm -hmm. whey protein finish you know you know how like yeah no it's got i've, that eaten, whey protein I've eaten a ton of those cliff protein bars i used to bring those to work all the time before i, I haven't i haven't rock climbed in a minute <laughs> like since I've i was rock climbed once very at young the school rock climbing gym at montana state you never go all natural rock climbing no I did it once at Montana State. My arms hurt for a few days, and I was like, fuck this. <laughs> I, it was not fun enough to justify this pain, and I have never done it again, and I'm fine with that. My family would do rock climbing mm. trips, so we would go camp and then like go to these. I found out later somewhat famous rock climbing spots. I mean, I wasn't mm. climbing like those. Like in Montana? or Yeah, like Yellowstone and oh, like okay. Idaho and some of those spots there's like a bunch of rock climbing oh cool yeah no eastern, like when we went camping my mom, my mom hates the outdoors so she wasn't interested at all and mm. if we would go camping it was like for fishing that's kind of what my dad was into yeah it's kind of like you do whatever your dad's in <laughs> yeah my dad was not into anything dangerous it's weird that we got into skiing because neither of my parents like skiing but really like, there was like this program where you could learn to ski at the local hill and we got ended up in that program and learned how to ski for a reasonable price so that's your dad how we got too into that. no no him and my mom each went one day each and were afraid and never did it again no uh, it sounds like my dad my dad was is still really into cross-country skiing that's his zone um, what a nerd dude actually cross-country skiing's for nerds though it's just cardio in the cold right <laughs> kind of it's, it's cold cardio when you go and it's fun i i don't know i like but it is like, it as I fun did as it downhill later. skiing no so here's the, I'll, I'll just tell the story of me okay. like learning how to ski mm -hmm. i would go cross-country skiing with my mom and my dad and then we'd find the first hill that we found i was like maybe two or three whenever there was a hill i would not leave i would just i'd be like you guys go without me i'm just gonna go <laughs> up and down this hill all day and then my parents' relationship got kind of rocky. And my mom was kind of, my, my mom knew my dad was very anti-downhill skiing. I thought downhill skiing was only for Olympic athletes. Like, you know how there's mm -hmm. like the luge and stuff and you're like, nobody luges casually. I, I wish thought there downhill was a place to casually like luge. I wish that there was. seems so much fun. That's just like, like, like if there was just a bobsled <laughs> park down the street, I would bobsled all the fucking Dude, time. Right? Skeleton, just like go yeah. for it. It's like it's like a cold downhill roller coaster. It's like a water slide uh, without water. Exactly. It seems like a great time. You go like 80 miles an hour. If you fly off the track into a tree, your head gets pushed down into your balls. <laughs> yeah. Like you, your body gets turned inside out, but that's okay because right. it was a good time up until that point. 
See, I just thought yeah. that that's how I thought downhill skiing was. Though I just thought that was just something that nobody actually like. It's just like for rich people or whatever. Like I mean, I mean it, it sort of is, is for rich people. It like is for rich white people, to some that's extent. What I figured. Like depending on where you live, it's a hundred percent only for rich people. Right. Like if you live in Nebraska, skiing yeah. is only for rich people. Yeah, well, you there's go like on no hills and, and yeah, or like the, the whole East Coast. Like it's all just vacation stuff. I mean, kind of. There's hills and I've I've gone on the East Coast a few places. They're not they're not like the mountains of Montana. Yeah. But, so my mom, I think, and I might be embellishing a little bit, and I don't think my dad listens to this, so we're good. <laughs> uh. I know that my mom kind of introduced me to ski downhill skiing, knowing full well I would never cross country ever again because I was like, wait, there is a thing where you just do my favorite part of skiing? <laughs> That's all you do. Like you mm -hmm. just ride this lift and then you just go down. You yeah, never a machine do does all the work for <laughs> yeah. you and you just get to have fun. My That's mind was blown. I don't know, yeah. like what would be like the equivalent of like, like the funnest part of whatever you like to do. Yeah. You know, imagine you found out that there was a sport that that's all you do when there was like all these other things that your dad would like be like, no, well to have fun, we got to go up the hill. And then I found out that no dad, <laughs> you don't. <laughs> and you are just, he was just afraid of downhill skiing. Um, so like their relationship was kind of rocky and my mom started, was like, well, I'm going to introduce the kids to downhill skiing. And it was my favorite thing in the whole world it's pretty fun and then i you know i just did it a lot and then i got into snowboarding and i mean i did both i tried to maintain both but it's kind of expensive when you're growing mm -hmm. and like every couple of years you get new stuff so i remember my mom one day was like choose one you can do one or the other you cannot do both because <laughs> like i was on like the racing ski team and um and i would learn like the snowboard. downhill race scheme race yeah team, or... in like but in like um like elementary school or middle yeah. school. yeah like i was real young right i mean it was it was all participation mm -hmm. medals and whatever and i remember i remember but like those are the kind of things that help you learn how to ski mm -hmm. we we do need to address we both grew up in montana in towns that were like close to ski oh, hills yeah. yeah like the one i started on was like 30 miles away and you, the one that you started on was like right next to town in Whitefish there, uh, right? Well, see, when I was little, when we started, I was in mm -hmm. Pol we were in Polson. We oh, so what was the hill point. you guys went to? Was it was that? the same hill. No, it was oh, the same it was hill. Still we Fish. just drove the 60 miles. You didn't go north. to Blacktail Mountain? Blacktail opened when I was in high school. They've closed so, since, I think. Have but they? I'm, I, don't, I don't think they're still. Well, they might. I've I remember going up. Information. Dude, Blacktail was sick because the road actually drove to the summit. And I remember yeah. my stepmom, before there was a ski area, they had cut all of the runs. And then they were like, I don't know, there was like some land disputes and whatever mm -hmm. uh, were permitting. So they didn't have any lifts, but the, the runs were cut. And I went up there and I snowboarded, like just did this epic powder because there was switchbacks and you could, there were certain runs you could take. And my stepmom knew, knew them. It was rad. Mm -hmm. Like she just drove in her Subaru and then I just snowboarded down and then she would drive back up. It was sick. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. I've done that like on the local hill. The one that I started on just go there before it opens because mm -hmm. it's on public land. It's forest service land. That was the And thing so you can just, yeah. if you, if you have a day, you know, and you want to do it, you can hike up that fucking thing. I mean, That's it's like big 2,000 vertical feet, so it's oh, like yeah. it's like a it's a hike, and you pretty much do one run, and then you're like, well, yeah. that was more energy than I planned to output today. That's I most, need to go home, yeah. but it's a good time. It is. And there's always like a couple feet of snow, you know, because no one skied it, and it's mm -hmm. been accumulating snow, so it's always a good run. Yeah. I mean, that's that's how most of the skiers, I think, are are in. They're like leased land. Yeah, it's like forest they don't service actually land, and it. they have... They yeah, have, it's usually national forest land, and they got. And that's why they have to close certain day, er, certain mm -hmm. dates, because they only have their lease between this date and this date, and it's almost like they got to pick it. Yeah. Ahead of time, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder what all that must be a mess of paperwork, but I'm glad they do it because skiing's fun. Yeah, but yeah, we were both able to learn to ski probably for a pretty reasonable price compared to what mm -hmm. it would take if we didn't grow up right next to it. Yeah, I mean, it was like, it was, it was within driving distance. And like, I never had 
I don't know if I ever had new ski stuff ever. No, I don't think I've ever had brand new ski stuff. The, actually, the bindings that I just bought last winter would be the first new ski equipment I've ever had. And then yeah. snowboarding, I just knew so many people in the snowboard industry. I was able to get a lot of deals and mm. I, I never, I think I bought one brand, one or two new brand new snowboards, but since, when you're yeah. in that industry, you just like don't. And then there was all these like swap, there's like a swap meet. Yeah, thing. the ski swap. Yeah, every, every year. year there's a ski swap where people bring like their used shit that they want to sell yeah. into the 4-H building or whatever. Exactly. <laughs> That's where it was in Dylan. That's where I got all my ski stuff, and it's 4-H like 4-H building. I'm I'm sure like I'm sure my I know my mom wasn't spending crazy. She wasn't dropping crazy coin. Well, you don't have to. The ski shit no. depreciates really fast. Mm-hmm. Like everybody wants. You know, everybody with money wants the newest fucking skis all the time because yeah. they look cool and they can flex on people at the ski hill is basically all it is. Dude. And then, yeah. and then like you pick up that gear like two years later for half the price off these people, you know, and yeah. some of them can't even ride. They just like have the <laughs> gear because they have a lot of money. And so those are the people you got to yeah. find because then they want to beat the fuck out of their gear. Like, right. They the just bridge up a bridge or whatever. <laughs> the, you know? Yeah. There was a lot of like rich girls in my high school that would have the latest whatever every year Mm -hmm. and they'd have multiple outfits. So like Saturday and Sunday, they would wear different gear. Like it was like they were Paris Hilton or something. Yeah. Coats. Dude. Different helmets. That's something that's so cool about when like you're, I don't know what your situation was, but I had like a little crew and we would all ride together. Mm-hmm. And you knew your friend, all your friends, since you wore the same jacket and helmet and like the basically yeah. the same thing all year, you could, you always knew where your friends were because they were always wearing the same outfit. I think oh, we yeah. should do that in life. <laughs> we should just be like, all right, Nick, you always wear that sweatshirt. I'll mm-hmm. always wear this. <laughs> Red so we hat, end up looking this. like, yeah, you end up looking like, like uh, all the characters in an animated show. <laughs> yeah. You know how like Peter Griffin always has a white shirt and green pants, no Dude. matter what day it is. Like those are the only clothes he owns. I he, feel like the, the older I get, the more I'm like, yeah, I get it. I have now like I'm not wearing one right now because I I need to do laundry. But like mm-hmm. I bought a whole bunch of these V necks that fit me. I like them, and I bought them in like a couple of colors. And now I'm just that's what I wear every day, and it just takes the guesswork. I I love it. I love it. They're just these five dollar t shirts. I like to switch it up. I think it's fun. Maybe maybe I'm just maybe I'm just not old enough. I I think it is the thing that the older you get, the more you're just like, I just well, I guess also like I'm just at home. I'm not seeing Mm -hmm. anybody. I guess on the podcast thing I am, but Yeah. Well, yeah, I guess like when I'm just hanging around the house I care a lot less, but like, you know, obviously, but And when I'm going going out stage wandering around yeah you know i I like to switch it up but if i'm like hanging out with my friends i don't want to wear the same thing every time because if i wear different things all the time then it's fun i think a lot less people absolutely be advocating people to wear as many different outfits as possible yeah as we're you know oh i think about the outfit against the message of our podcast (laughs) we gotta we meet up brand (laughs) dude when we meet up i change (laughs) but i'm saying day to day (laughs) i just throw on that black t-shirt and good to go Mm -hmm. and i i I mean who knows man it's like because i i I have all these like cool shirts that i like but then like i wear them one time and then i feel like i need to wear something else Mm -hmm. and there's just a nice like relief with with just being like all right i'm just gonna wear that black t-shirt again Mm -hmm so all right uh so we were talking about um before we get into the shoe i want to talk so we were talking about this idea of we've been kicking it back and forth about buy at the end of the year buying like just like going crazy and buying a pair that we like just spending a lot just dropping some serious coin and our definitions of serious coin are very different (laughs) i know (laughs) Like, I'm going to get a pair of shoes that, like, Nick already has level, <laughs> like, on par with something Nick already has. And Nick's going to get something that I am never going to fully understand why he spent that much money on it. But it's a fun exercise, and it's been, it's been really enlightening to me personally in thinking about, you know, how much I value 
Like I was like, okay, like I was just trying on. All right, I'm going to spend, if I was going to spend $800 or $1,000 on a shoe, what would I get? Mm -hmm. And it's been a really interesting thing because I can't find that shoe. Because for me, it's got to be, dude, I can't stop. I hate that you did that to me. You highlighted that. I say for me, <laughs> and now I can't stop. Every time I say it, I'm just, <laughs> I hear it. It's like an um or an ah. I just feel in like my firmly. life, I feel like. <laughs> Shout out to Bill Burr's podcast that Bjorn doesn't listen to that got that in my head. And then I heard him say for me and I just thought for me from Bill Burr's podcast. And, and now we're stuck. Now we're here. Yeah. All right. So in my life situation, <laughs> I, f- I can't find a pair that, I, that, that fits that because mm-hmm. I want something that people know I spent money on. <laughs> like the, it's got to have some flash. It's got to be like, mm-hmm. oh, but all of the ones that I like that are in that like upper echelon, like worth some serious amounts of money, mm-hmm. they don't have that like factor that like flex or that uh that ultimate flex i guess would it, it would be like the shoe we're talking about today mm-hmm. has that it definitely has that like it stands out even if you don't really know what shoes uh, like what shoes are if you don't know mm-hmm. what shoes are they definitely stand out that's for <laughs> sure mm-hmm. if you if you aren't like way into sneakers you you kind of can identify that like because we're we're talking about a Yeezy. So it's mm-hmm. like, it does have a flex and it's a white and it's got, it, it does have that. It like, looks pop. unique. It looks, it looks like unique. something that you don't always see. Mm-hmm. So it stands what, out. What were the shoes that when you were like, what, what were your finalists in that, in that top thousand dollar category the, well, that you were like the shoes that you did consider, but then that you kind of ruled out like the Travis Scott sixes. Mm-hmm. were one the, the they're like green and i'm just describing it to listeners i know that you look, know what they look like they're green yeah they're like a, a a green six and then they've got kind of like a uh a white or like a somewhat opaque mix base on them and then they've got like orange detail or orange mm-hmm. red details yeah they're like olive green and they have a little mm-hmm. bag on the side of them and a little bag yeah yeah i really like them mm-hmm but then the the tongue is a little unfinished, has like an unfinished rough look to it, which I do like that aesthetic a lot. I just can't justify spending that much money on them. Yeah. Well, they're definitely a shoe that like, I think they, they stand out by being a Jordan, but if you're not a sneakerhead, you might not know that they're as special as they are. Like mm-hmm. regular people will see that and just be like, that's an olive green high top. Mm-hmm. You know, it it doesn't it doesn't have that that I mean the other one the other one that I might I'm curious what it's worth right now I'm gonna look it up because I uh is the the yellow and black um Jordan four I feel like that one's not worth a ton but maybe I'm way off yellow uh, and black was that just it's just a yellow <laughs> and black colorway yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna try <laughs> yeah like like i really like the dornbecker one but that one's like two thousand dollars <laughs> mm-hmm. uh where is it i don't know what it's called there's someone that's like the retro thunder one i don't need they don't even have it they only have the kids one on here on um I'll I'll show you the one that it's like yeah it's yellow and black it kind of has this like they only have the kids one on here but this one hmm uh that is cool I mean it is yeah it's all one, black but... with a yellow midsole and the uh, the little what are those things called the wings yeah the wings but it's just the tip of the wing the plastic bit oh, with the holes in it yeah is that I'm sure that has a name too yeah yeah. Like Whatever those pilots. are called, the plastic bits at the tips of the wings on the floor, those are yellow. I'm trying the to little, describe it. The little audience. spider web things are yeah. yellow. And then inside, there, it's got a black cage mesh, and then it's got a, a, a yellow mesh on the inside. Mm-hmm. Yellow wrap around, and then the rest is pretty, pretty much black. But what I like about this one is it pops. It, it, it mm-hmm. looks like it, a cool shoe to me. 
It does. And, uh, I Thunder. Yeah. Let's see if I can. One. Let's see if I can find it on like Goat or something. That was. I mean, that's one I was kind of thinking of. Mm-hmm. But really, for the most part, there wasn't anything. I couldn't find anything that was like real, real expensive that I wanted to spend eight hundred dollars on. You know, yeah, thousand dollars on because mm-hmm. anything that I liked it would be like two or three grand or four grand if, if it was something yeah, like, like oh, the that's sick. Yeah, that makes sense. What about like the Off-White 5? What do you think of the Off-White 5s? Uh, Those like kind of gray ones with the like circle cutouts in them? Oh, yes. I love these. But once again, they don't have that like they don't have that flex power to me <laughs> like really because i feel like those ones kind of do personally i feel like the off-white five does just because it does look it does have like those circles and it has mm, the cut through like, the cut through it, and the text you know has like the the you know off-white for yeah Nike or whatever thing on the side and i like that like net i don't know what you would call it almost reminds me of like tent material <laughs> mm-hmm. as like something you'd have a, a tent out of the um that would be the um the body of it but this doesn't look like i just can't do it's like a thousand bucks for this thing i just like i just can't go there i don't know what it is In my head i'm just like uh-uh i can't do it i'll i'll drop so much money on like camera equipment but I just maybe I'm just not a true sneakerhead in that sense that like I won't I just can't do it. I can't. Mm-hmm. I can't bring myself to to buy that one. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm I I'm I am a little bit struggling with some of the ideas I had some of the shoes cuz it's the same thing where it, like when it dropped at retail it was, you know, 150 200 dollars. Yeah. Like that shoe and now it's up to 1000 it's like ah I'm going to be a little disappointed just because the quality isn't there. Like yeah. it's still a $200 shoe. You know, it just got hyped up to that. I don't own any shoes like that though, that are that hyped. So there's yeah. kind of that where it's like, it would be cool to have a shoe like that in the collection. You know, like one of the, like off- a, like a big one. This- yeah. Like an off white or a Travis Scott type of so- hype, hype shoe. Actually, now that we are bringing this up, I did find the Thunder 4s in a size 10, but they're from 2012. Are they, are those going to be like way degraded? I don't I really don't know. I think look into it, but from what I've read, I don't think so. I've I've read that like the the issue was more like with shoes from the 90s cuz they like changed the rubber compounds or the okay. polymers or whatever. Cuz But I might be wrong. I have no idea. Because these are, these are uh, close to six hundred. There's a couple pairs for six hundred on mm-hmm. goat for the yeah. for the um, fours. The red. so maybe these would be my pair. Would be these mm-hmm. thunder fours. Even over the bread fours, honestly, because like mm-hmm. the bread ones, just I maybe I mean I like those too, and I feel like I should have a pair of those mm-hmm. since it's my favorite silhouette, but. Uh, what are those running right now? I'm curious. They're like 350 to 400. They're actually pretty modest compared to some of the really hyped ones. I think because they've restocked them enough yeah, times throughout the years that they. So it's yeah, it's like 400. So I mean, maybe I get these. Mm-hmm. I don't know why. I'm just like not super super excited about these. I like them mm-hmm. a lot. I'm just not. No, I get it. They're they're like in the middle of being hyped and being normal. I think I, I think also for me I like it to be god damn it. Uh in my situation <laughs> <laughs> I like that I've never seen anyone wearing the third the Thunder Force ever. Yeah, no that is really cool. And so that factor of it whereas I've seen a lot I mean I I literally saw a guy mowing his lawn in the bread force and I was like ah! <laughs> like I was sitting in my car and this guy's just mowing his lawn. <laughs> I like that guy. I mean, they were, they were beat up. I mean, they were super done so, but it was, <laughs> and it was like, it was not the kind of guy that you, whatever you're picturing, it wasn't that guy. It was like a guy that like works on his car and like drinks beer at, when he's not working at his metal shop 
I mean, if he's wearing those to mow his lawn, then yeah, he's probably similar to the guy I'm picturing here. (laughs) Actually, what I'm picturing is like a dad whose kid bought him a pair of Jordans. It might be. That might have been the situation. I didn't ask. I mean, I have a dad whose kid bought him a pair of Yeezys. He hasn't mowed the lawn in them, but if he did, I would think it was really funny. It were, you, like that, if he had just a grass-stained pair of fucking Yeezys, <laughs> I would laugh at that. I would think it's funny, but I he asked me how much they cost, and I told him, and then he definitely has worn them like three times ever. Yeah. He's like, I can't get these dirty. They're so expensive. I was like, eh. What color are they? I got him the, the 700 in the Inertia colorway. Okay. I'm not, I'm so, the Yeezy stuff, I don't even know. 700 inertia? How do you spell yeah. that? Oh, I N. I-N. Oh, so this like white and pink one? Sort of. It's, bring it up on the screen. It's not white and pink. It's more like gray with some orange. <laughs> it's got some salmon accents right yeah, there. Yeah, <laughs> salmon, kind of a cream outsole. It actually is a really cool looking shoe in person. And I got it for retail. I didn't, I paid you know, three hundred dollars for it. I didn't pay extra. This looks like some. This looks like something you'd wear to the hospital if you worked there. <laughs> mm, that's fair. Doctors, like a standard you know, issue doctors, hospital shoe. Those are heroes. They've helped us through a whole pandemic. <laughs> and also, look at the look at the value. This this shoe has gained value. Seventy five because it was three hundred, right? Mm hmm. Yeah, three hundred. So In yeah, March. Very cool. All right. All right. Should we get to the shoe? Yeah, let's get to the shoe. All right. uh, And let's see it. Like, let's have you show it before I bring it up on the screen. So, this is mine. It's the Yeezy 350 V2. It's the static colorway. Um, Yeah, I got these. I got these the day they dropped. I got them at Bait in downtown Portland. Shout out to Bait. And I got them just in the store. I just worked. I tried to get them you know, on the Yeezy or on the Adidas website when it dropped. And that was, of course, a disaster. Um, Why? What happened? Oh, the Yeezy, when when they used to do the Yeezy drops on the Adidas website, they don't have, like the most recent ones, they do a raffle. But Mm -hmm. it used to be a first come, first serve shit show. And it just was always a pain in the ass. I tried for a few pairs and never got one off of there. First come, first uh, crash the website. <laughs> Basically, yeah. It was always, uh, you're in line for like half an hour just watching the fucking thing swirl around. And then it was like, ah, fuck you. And you didn't get them. What do you think? What's your opinion of, what do you think's better? Do you like the raffles where like mm-hmm. for like 10 minutes, they just allow people to, yeah. uh, to, to do it? Or I this way prefer that one? because I think the other one, I just get annoyed when it's those first come first serve things and you're like dealing with some website that's just like shitting bricks on you the whole fucking time. You're just like, what is this? I would rather, you know, and you still never get the shoes. So it's like, or I still never get the shoes. I haven't either. (laughs) So honestly, like, I would rather have- I don't know which is better. (laughs) I would rather have the less hassle because I have hit on raffles, like- third party like through bait and through Mm -hmm. uh, dtlr and like those kind of i've hit on those raffles yeah so i know it's possible you know and so i kind of i definitely prefer that and even like the sneakers raffle i haven't really hit on one of those but what about prefer that experience wise like what do you which do you prefer do you prefer the raffle experience yeah I, i like it because it's still like you still have to get up you still have to click the button, but there's none of the like waiting around and being annoyed and none mm-hmm. of the like getting your hopes up because like something worked and then something else like fucks you and you're just like, there's just like an element of luck and then you go on Reddit and someone else was in your position, but that whatever crashed the website on your side, it just didn't happen to them and they got the shoes and you're just like, God damn it, you know? Yeah, that that annoyance to me, I I could live without that. I'd rather they all do raffles. You had me until the Reddit post because I don't go on Reddit. <laughs> oh, well, I, I go on r slash sneakers for big drops because sometimes I've found useful info on there. Oh, I know. And you do that and you send it to me <laughs> and then I'm <laughs> so late on it. <laughs> yeah. And then you're late to the game. So you don't even have an So it doesn't even matter. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, I- these shoes... 
I went for online, didn't get them, worked the day. And then I was like, you know what? There's no way bait is going to have any left. And I called him up from my work parking lot and I asked him if they had my size and they did. And I went there and I bought them just at the store. $220. Oh, cool. Here they are. Oh, so they're 220 220 standard price for the 350 But the static, this was the first one that has this pattern of like the prime knit pattern. This was the first colorway of that pattern. They'd all been either a solid color or like the zebra pattern up until then. And this was the first one with this kind of wacky, it, I guess, static pattern. Yeah, it does kind of look like static on a television. Yeah, and it's got the see-through, the see-through stripe. Like this bit right here is a Does is it like say a anything inside there or is it just... Nope. Nope. Instead of saying uh, SPLY 350, it just is see-through. SPLY 350, what does that stand for? Possibly supply, probably supply, but unconfirmed. It could stand for St. Pablo loves you. Um, was it S? What is it again? S P L Y. S P L Y. Yeah. Super people love you. <laughs> L Y is definitely love you. I'm 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 not sure about the S P. It's probably it. Saint Pablo loves you if that's what it stands for because that was like around the time Kanye dropping like is. Oh man. His so they're like also he refers to himself as Pablo quite a bit and he uh has a son named Saint. And so perhaps yeah. he was dedicating it to his son. This is speculation. I it may have been confirmed at some point, but as far as I know, it was somewhat unconfirmed and just speculated that it might have meant Saint Pablo loves you. It might also just mean supply. Supply. I mean it probably the it Yeezy does look like the website, supply. like the Yeezy website is called Yeezy Supply. Ah where you could just buy them direct. And he just likes all this air of mystery. Yeah, that's how you sell shoes. Yeah, no <laughs> stories. Mm -hmm. Who cares about the stories? It's about the mystery. Yeah. As far as this shoe goes, though, um, I don't know. It's it's pretty standard, but the the it has the heel tab here, and it's the only one, the static is the only one with this pattern that has the heel tab. There's a about a dozen more colorways with this exact same pattern but none of them have the heel tab this was the original and it's the only one that he put the heel tab on so they just uh, stopped doing it yeah i guess so but I'll, i'm i'm happy he did because it means that these are worth a lot more money than the other ones um they are see. laces are reflective this is the non-reflective by the way okay. there was a reflective pair where they had 3m like in the prime knit the whole way around that pair is worth a lot of money this is non-reflective but the laces are still 3m so like okay see if i can do this um let's see if it nope does nope, nothing that, that ain't working out <laughs> it's not working at all it's fine i believe you if you take a photo of them with the flash on then the laces light up real bright oh that's cool yeah But yeah, they're just a Yeezy 350. They fit like all the Yeezy 350s, about a half size small. So I go with a 10 and a half on my 350s because the toe box is tight. Um, yeah, they're kind of squishy. They're not really useful for anything, but they look cool. And uh, what are they useful for, though? No, like, but for what looking are they? cool. Okay, looking it, cool, number one. Number two. Um, they're, they're very slipper like. So if you have an office job where you can wear sneakers, um, the 350 is, is excellent for that. They'd be decent for stand up. Like they're good for walking slowly and standing around. They're not, too, they're just not good for like going anywhere. Do you think maybe like Kanye West has like a specific, like really like, <laughs> He very specific back issues foot. or or like no he might just have a very for him strangely shaped foot and these might be absolutely perfect for his foot and no one else's maybe maybe he has yeah maybe he has a weird foot and he wants to just normalize the shape of his foot i want everybody to look like my dumb feet <laughs> like, that does seem like a thing kanye would do 
is make a a hue that's like weirdly specific to his foot and if there was a shoe such as that it would be this shoe here's what i would if i ever got like a, a shoe uh deal what i would do is i would have the um there would be all of the all the one shoe would be one size and that one the other one would be the other so i would have all of the left shoes mm-hmm. be uh a size and a half a size smaller than the right shoe that's what I would do. Oh man, people would be so mad. Uh, it would be like it would, it would be entertaining as fuck. I hope you get that opportunity so that I can read that Reddit. Every text. single shoe would be would be like whatever you got, like you'd get the size, the big one, and then the other one would be really small. So like if you were like you want to, you would get a nine in there <laughs> for the left shoe. And you're going a whole size, not a half size. Whole it's a size. ten and a nine. It's not a, a ten, ten and, and a nine and a half. <laughs> yep. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, they would be worth so much money because of that. Like people would it, it's like stupid stuff like that is I feel like that one might go a little too far because if it's literally impossible for most people to wear the shoes, even if they even if they were probably not gonna like a celebrity would. But now even the celebrities can't because the fucking sizing is wacky. Like that? You just buy one. You just buy the the one for the the smaller foot and just swim, and at live point, my life. That is my life. <laughs> like, yeah, but at some point, you get there's my be- life experience through the shoe, Nick. I always have one foot that is just like swimming like a fish in a fish tank, and the other one is like it fits, and I have to kind of like find a nice in between. So then That's people, would, it would be a connection. And I would mm-hmm. sell that as the story and this shoe would just go crazy. <laughs> you know what? I won't write off your idea. I want you to do it. <laughs> and if it works, I'll congratulate you. And if it doesn't, I'll enjoy the Reddit thread of people being furious that one of their shoes doesn't fit. Because either way, this is a win. It would it would get that it would, would be, be newsworthy. It would be newsworthy because no it one's would ever be done newsworthy. it. Newsworthy. That is true. It, it would, would go 100%. by Rawl. <laughs> it would. It would get us on the map for better or for worse. On the map. We would be on the map as as people who created a shoe that one of them fits. Dude, I probably ruined a lot of people's lives when I was younger. Um, shoe store people, because I used to go and I would switch the shoes in the box. And I would get one. And so they would be the two different size shoes. It was awesome. There was oh, a you're, couple you're places. You're like a very low level criminal. That That's is like hilarious. But I would still buy the shoes. It just kind of messed up their image. You would buy the shoes, but then someone else gets <laughs> someone a fucked else. up box of shoes. <laughs> someone else gets a nine and a 10. And they're just like, God damn it. What the <laughs> like, fuck? They return the, it. the confusion. The confusion when they get home. <laughs> when they like put on their brand new pair of shoes yeah. and they're just Can, like this one feels really loose and they look at the tongues and it's like different yeah. numbers they're probably just like it's like can i try a nine and a ten on i want to see what back in there get. like <laughs> i'm never shopping at Foot Locker again dude they check it now i mean even pay less <laughs> like yeah i guess you can't really do that at Foot Locker since all the boxes are in the back but you could probably do that well no you, you just know, say like you want to try this footwear you want to try the two shoes on and then you would just switch them. Mm. But no, most of the time now people check the tongues of bullshit. Oh yeah. And sell them. <laughs> so I stopped. <laughs> I only did it a couple of times, um, but I, I kind of felt bad about it. I'll be honest. It wasn't like my yeah, finest no, you, moment. Yeah. No, you're like mostly an honest person. Like <laughs> mostly I, an I honest person. That would, that would eat at your conscience. <laughs> I feel bad. Go buy the other box of shoes. <laughs> I have thought that though, like when I am making crazy money, I'm totally just going to buy two pair. Like I want to get, that's the point that I want to get where that's, I'm just like, that's your financial goal. That's my financial goal. You can where buy two pairs of any shoe that you of, want. Exactly. So Even if it's these thousand dollar shoes yes, we're looking at, yes. you want to be able to be like, Oh, I want them. And yeah, they're 2000 for me, but like, <laughs> I'm going to spend. Yeah. I mean, but like, Let's see. Like, if I were to do that with yours, with these Adidas boosts, because on right now, oh, yeah, bring them up, bring them up for the people to see. Okay, this is one of my better, um, like 
return on investment. Not yeah. that, I mean, I've worn them. So, so they're like, 400 right now. It, yeah. Is there size 10? No, these are actually size 11. Oh, 440, dude. Yeah, dude. Look at that shit. Solid investment. Yeah. See, I would have I to would get. I would recommend a 10 and a half for myself in Yeezys. But at the time, I wore, I thought I wore a size 10 and a half sneaker for like a long time. Yeah. And then I dropped down to a size 10 and realized it fit me better like three years ago or two you years think ago. Shoes, do you think shoes got smaller or no? No, Was no. I just got thing? my foot remeasured at like when I bought those fancy boots that we did an episode about. Oh, yeah. And so then I tried a size 10 and I was like, this actually kind of holds my foot better. And it's not like I had mistook. And it's a better um, podcast name. <laughs> it is a better podcast name, but mostly I'd mistook like the looseness in the toe of the 10 and a half for being a correct fit. Whereas it's one of those things where if I just break it in like with five wears, then the 10 ends up fitting me better. Yeah. Because I, so I thought I was an 11 for a really mm -hmm. long time. I mean, I'll occasionally wear 11s. Yeah, but that's why these are a size 11 is because gotcha. at the time I thought I was a 10 and a half. And so I half sized up because it's easy. And so these are slightly big on me. But like I said, they're, I have a size 10 and a half, the zebras, and they don't fit me significantly better. They're, they still are weird feeling. So it's shoes. usually with Yeezys, is it up a half size? Is what most people 350s say. it is. With the oh, 700, okay. you can go true to the sizing on Yeezys. Perfect. All kinds of fucked up. You know, and it pisses me off because people still spend $300 and mm -hmm. not really care about that. But my underwear on my website, <laughs> if there's a sizing issue, <laughs> people yeah, get well, all upset for $25. Yeezys aren't <laughs> pinching your balls. <laughs> if these Yeezys were pinching my balls, I would probably give you Kanye a call too. person. <laughs> I'd call him up. I'd call him up in Cody. Like, hey, Kanye. Don't make me come over there. It is so close to where we live. <laughs> I'm I'm from the I'm from the West there, you know. I'm I'm one of your people now, you know. You made these shoes pinching my balls. I don't know how shoes would pinch your balls, but how if the they, fuck do you make if these they shoes did, if they did, I would complain. <laughs> I too. would be on the phone asking for a manager. I'd be like, this is a problem. So, so that's why people are more concerned about your underwear. I would guess. I guess you're right. You know, because if you get a size that's like way too small and it's like causing you pain. Yeah, that's a bad, that's a, you know, that's a, you could fuck up your whole day. I mean, that's, but my, like when it comes to shoes, mm -hmm. that's, it's hard for me to buy shoes online, but like with, that's the, that's the other thing about like some of these big hype shoes is it's just like, uh, I'm kind of guessing that they mm -hmm. fit like some of the other ones or. You I think know? the Nike ones, you're pretty safe, I would imagine. Like, they'll fit like a Jordan, right? I guess I'm just speculating, too. I mean, like, my, my 312, my Legacy 312s mm -hmm. fit different than my Spizikes that also fit different than the Jordan ones. They all fit slightly different. And my 4s, they all fit. Like, the ones that, for me... <laughs> <laughs> if you're playing the game this is where you take another shot every time Bjorn says that bullshit <laughs> dude I wouldn't worry about it that much I, no like, it's just it's, I'm aware of it and I feel like sometimes it's appropriate aware. to say and now it's just funny <laughs> no it is it's I, like I think, go we ahead just made it, it a callback we made it into a callback is what we did <laughs> so in my shoe situation <laughs> I totally forgot what I was saying too. Uh, You're talking about shoe oh, sizing. Oh, they just fit different. It's it's yeah. What I don't have a pair on me, but it's I guess the, my one. It's, it's right. It's like the knuckle. Fit different. It's the knuckle of my big toe. So like on your right foot. On my right foot. Mm -hmm. Some shoes are like tighter there. Oh, and if they okay. are. I can't even wear them a whole day, or I can't wear them two days back to back because I I. I bruised it and I have to like find a pair that doesn't even touch that at all or maybe try to wear my I'll wear sandals or something mm -hmm. to like let my foot heal and then I can and that's why it's so hard for me to like wear boots in is because it hurts I can't even wear them yeah. two days in a row because it and it is distracting and it 
I think it's it's partially my weird Bigfoot. It's also I skateboarding. I a couple of times broke that toe, and that's probably mostly what it is. It's most. It could be that. It, uh, it seems like it's probably <laughs> definitely that. Like, but it's been a, it's been a thing that it, my my foot hurts if if I wear it. And I've heard other people say that like when sometimes they're too tight on mm-hmm. the toe box, like the it's just that right where the laces end. Yeah, well, that's why people size up with the Yeezys a lot. Is like the shape of the toe is kind of weird, as you can see. Like it goes <laughs> it goes back in on both sides. So, it's like, ideally, you need a, t- a a foot that, like, tapers and, you, like, like <laughs> maybe if you're a moose and your foot is shaped like, like a hoof, mm-hmm. like a moose's hoof, because moose have a real pointy hoof. I thought they like had the a shape. knuckle. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's a moose knuckle look like? <laughs> We're going to move past that. <laughs> We're just going to go right past that. For me, but we we do have some content related to that on our OnlyFans. You can see the link in the bio. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, no, Moose has a very pointy hoof, much like the shape of a Yeezy. It's the hype beast of the ungulate family. <laughs> the ungulate. Oh, I've never heard that word before. <laughs> really? No, that's the name of the family of animals, like deers and elks and mooses. Oh, they're ungu- they're called ungulates. All of those. Okay. Yeah, all, all of those type of animals. Dear, I'm trying to think if I've hit all of those with my car. <laughs> you, if you've hit a moose with your car, that's like that's I a have trophy it. animal to hit with a car. They're I definitely had much more rare than deer and elk. I did have one at one point. Oh, this was on a rock climbing trip. Wow, a moose will fuck up your car. Like a uh, moose is big. Oh yeah, no, uh, we we were camping, rock climbing camping, and my um, we woke up and there was a moose in our camp, and so we. And it was kind of chasing us. So we just got on top of our car and we're like waiting for it to like go away. And it was like, I mean, we were up there for quite a while and the keys of course were in like all the way across the camp in the, Mm -hmm. in the tent. It felt like we were in a movie or something. Like what is the, it was just like walking around eating stuff and we're all just like, can you just go? (laughs) (laughs) Was it a bull moose? I don't know. It was a big moose. Did it have horns? Yeah. Yeah. So it was a bull moose. It was a bull. Yep. Moose are cool. They're a big animal. They are. They're but... tall. They have really long legs. Yeah, that's why when you hit them with a car, they destroy most cars because they just go right knock through them the windshield because they, go... they just boom and they're like a thousand pounds. They're yeah. like quite a large animal. <laughs> yeah. So I do... don't run into a moose if you can help it. Right. This is our new advice for the listeners. I also saw a moose one time swim by me in when i was kayaking and that was pretty terrifying and pretty oh, and wow. they're intimidating in the water where it's just like just, just their so antlers big. and you're like yeah are you just walking through the river right now? usually a bull moose isn't going to cause much of a problem they don't attack that many people i think it's usually a cow moose with a calf and if oh, you okay. like yeah like if you're around a cow moose that has a calf and you get like between it and the calf you might it might stomp your ass out all right but. so back to easy i know that does <laughs> make sense because he lives in cody but and i'm sure there's some moose there maybe that's yeah he kanye probably maybe he just hunts mooses now <laughs> on his big ranch who knows with his weird feet <laughs> are you <laughs> are you gonna get another th- pair of 350 do you want another pair of 350s like eh. are you trying are there any that you got your eyeballs on honestly at the moment i'll probably go for they're re-releasing the bread 350s this december restocking they're just black with the red lettering and i'm gonna go for those oh black with the okay i was looking at the wrong one yeah okay those are restocking in december and so i'll go for those beyond that though i have 350s oh these are just all black with the black all black with the red lettering and they're currently they're worth a ton of money on StockX because he only released them once like four years ago but, what are your thoughts? Because I don't think you're going to get this one, but what are your thoughts on this one? This is the the Yinsel. <laughs> I don't know. The, oh, the Yikiel. Yikiel? Yeah, that one dropped last year. I went for that one. That one dropped like the same day as the Zebra restock, and I took the L on that one, but I got the Zebras, and I'm 
happy with the zebras. This looks like a Cosby sweater. <laughs> <laughs> like I always like sketchy. Liked... <laughs> I do actually kind of like that one just because of all the ones with a static pattern, it's by far the most unique. It is. Like it's got different colors. It's not just gray or yeah. almost gray. Like it's got the black sole, but then it's got the colors on a black base. It looks cool. Is the black sole like somewhat transparent or is it just mm, totally? I don't think so. I think it's just to figure black. that out. Yeah. It probably looks on the bottom like all of them do with the little like kind of triangle teardrop shape thing. These are kind of okay. dirty, but but yeah. yeah no i so, like i do like that well, maybe the the black and red ones do they yeah call i'll them go bread? for those yeah i think they are called the bread and i'm gonna go for those but i don't know i'm not really there aren't any yeezys that have been coming out that i'm that intrigued by um like the basketball the quantum i'm not really a fan of that dude that one or no there was one that i was like i was i just for some reason maybe it's it's kind of like um i don't know what i couldn't think of a good example mm -hmm. i i like to go on and and look at all of the below retail shoes just out mm -hmm. of pure purely out of curiosity and i saw that those were totally on there yeah the, they are the, and the, the like hiking boots those, they're all below retail on, on yeah the well there's been a lot of weird there's been a lot of yeezys recently that i'm just not that interested in I might try to get a pair of 380s at some point. I still haven't gotten a pair of those. They so, intriguing. I've heard they're really comfy. But. Which 350 breads are you talking about? Uh, top left. This one? Yep. That's the one that's restocking. Okay. And so that would that one would make sense in my collection because all mine are like pretty light colored. I have these, I have the zebras, and I have the butters. And so they're all basically a white shoe. So that one, then I would have a 350 that's a black shoe. Mm. And so then it would make sense and add some versatility into my rotation here. At the moment, there's no, like, I don't need any more white or basically white Yeezys. I've got plenty of those. So there's no reason for me to be buying most of the colorways that have dropped. Yeah, like the clay or the... <laughs> The clay is a little unique, but even the clay was like, I wasn't really, I didn't love it. I'm not a huge fan of brown and orange. I like the pirate for, I'm not a huge fan, but I like the pirate black ones. So does everybody. That was the V1. That's not even the V2. Yeah, that was one of the four original 350s. So does everybody. Jeez. Mm -hmm. This one, I've seen people rocking this one. I think this oh, yeah. would be my favorite colorway of them personally no the pirate black is definitely cool what's it going for on there um yeah. <laughs> uh 975 <laughs> <laughs> i ain't spending that yeah no they're a little pricey there's no way well that's the v1 when did that one even drop 2015 so yeah that one's been out a while now yeah. there were four colorways of the of the 350 v1 what were they? Can you name um, them? Yeah, Moon Rock, Turtle Dove, Pirate Black, and... Ooh, maybe I can't name them. I got three of them, though. What is the Turtle Dove? Is that blue? No, it's kind of a white and gray and black guess... speckled. It's like, did... That was the original one. Okay. Um, yeah, there's one other one. I'm, it's slipping it's my right. mind. That the sneaker heads say they're gonna be mad at me. Yep. But I can't they'll get over it. Dude, the, the easy stuff is so complicated because it's like the naming on it is confusing. And yeah, the V2, <laughs> like that stuff is just so like a, the number doesn't it doesn't even make sense. It's not like 360, 720, it's 350. Well, why is it 350? I don't know why it's 350. The only thing that makes sense is the 350 and then the 350 V2 being like version two right version two and it's like different but it's obviously the same design language it's just an evolution of it i'm looking this up dude i'm googling this 350 mean easy 
Why is it 350? This says Saint. <laughs> it's either supply or th- uh, or Saint Pablo loves you. You did have that. Um, I don't understand what the three. Fi- Everyone's just talking about the supply part. There's nothing about the number. Oh, here we go. Kanye, Reddit, Kanye. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> The height? This person is saying it's the height of the shoe. I don't know what the... F- the height? That doesn't make sense to me. Tall- but- okay, I don't know. That's I don't know how to do Reddit, dude. I don't, I don't do this. It's weird. I'm too old, <laughs> I'm too old for Reddit. <laughs> That's okay. I think, I, think we'll, I think everyone will live without knowing some of these things. Or they I- could investigate on their own and hit us up in the comments, hit us up in our our email address yeah Yeah. enlighten us you could say the email address now right oh yeah it's a size 10 podcast at gmail.com there we go that's a solid plug we like turtle doved right into that shit (laughs) (laughs) spell the word size and then it's the number 10 and then podcast no spaces all right so i'll just i have one more question and then i think that'll do it for this episode Mm -hmm. uh if someone broke into your house and stole your shoes, <laughs> mm-hmm. would you replace these shoes at the 400 and whatever that they're going for? For 450 bucks, I might not. Just because it's like, or 440 or whatever. Yeah. I might roll that into a different shoe. I don't know, though. I kind of like these. But they do kind of look like your zebras because I literally got them mixed up. I forgot that you had both. Yeah, I mean, next to each other, they don't really look the same. Like, the zebras are definitely way louder. Yeah. And the zebras do have the the SPLY 350 on the side in red lettering. Like, they're much mm-hmm. more shouty than these. Well, when you mix, when you mix gray with white, mm-hmm. it, it subdues it. When you mix white with black, it pops. Yeah. So, this... this so visually, it's a little bit of yeah. a softer. A I don't softer think look. I would spend four hundred and fifty dollars on these shoes, but two hundred and twenty dollars, I'm happy I got these shoes. And if I were robbed and they gave me, <laughs> if they the gave me the four hundred and fifty dollars, then yeah, I guess I'd replace them. Why not? See, that's the problem. Insurance only covers the retail value. But of if it, the they insurance aren't gonna... only gives me two hundred, there's no way that I'm just insurance like, ain't going on StockX and looking up what your shoe collection costs. Yeah, yeah. There's no way I'm literally spending double. These have doubled in value. That's cool. I think that might be my most valuable pair. They've doubled in value. That's pretty awesome. That is pretty awesome, dude. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, good for me. All right. I think I think that'll do it. Yeah, so, make yeah. sure and like and subscribe. Follow us on YouTube, Spotify, and Apple Podcasts, wherever you get your podcasts. We have new episodes every Wednesday. Thank you guys so much. And make sure and share this with somebody who would like to hear us talk about moose. and, and um, moose Hey, we didn't even talk about guns this time. We didn't talk about guns this time. <laughs> I mean, we were like right on the edge of it too. <laughs> we'll, we'll get there next time, I'm sure. All, All right. right. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Bye.